Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, and yeah, let's continue with this. So, you know, it's been very controversial some things that I did on my HTML, but people don't understand there's a reason why I'm doing that, right? It's to basically show that you could have mistakes and there's something called refactoring, right? Which was gonna be this video's, you know chapter or this topic on this video and that's what we're gonna do on this one right so we're gonna come into back into the code that we already did refactor was already there so the idea of this is to show you guys that even if you make a mistake it's fine even if you come and you do it a certain way there's a million ways of doing things like when it comes to HTML when it comes to CSS Everybody has different little tricks. Everybody has different ways of coding, and that is fine. The most important thing is what's the finished product? Is the finished product like this, how it looks in the design? Yes, that's what people care about. Nobody's gonna come in unless you're working on something specifically, like let's say for disabled or handicapped, that they need uh, a special reader to, to read the web pages nobody's looking at your markup nobody's going over it now you could believe me you cannot <laughs> you go also not believe me whatever you want to do but on this video we're going to do a little refactoring add some new tags fix a couple little things and yeah that's what this chapter is about all right so let's start this up remember guys so remember that you're inside of the folder right so we're gonna run yarn watch what that's gonna do is start up gulp and start up the whole task of basically watch everything that we do and refresh the page as we do changes to it all right so let's start this up cool first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna change this section reason why I made it into a section was to basically explain to you guys that from here to here is a section and from here to here is a section but there are better tags for that All right so we're gonna say header we're gonna name this into a header and name this into a header All right cool now what else can we do here also uh navigation we can actually use a nav nav tag and go like this instead of using an order list you could come in here and use a nav tag and remove all the allies so let me see Now let's see what happens it's gonna be a little bit messed up now let's change it so we have menu okay move this from here and just put it directly on the link all right now this text is supposed to be color I think black At any moment, we could come back and change it, right? So, yeah, that looks clean now. Okay, what else we got to refactor from this thing? Uh, let me see. Looking at the code. Uh, model, men's, sizes. Oh, there's a section. This is fine. Yeah, so that's pretty much it as far as like refactoring that we needed to do and like i said refactoring just means you're gonna come back to your code look at what you did and then from there fix any mistakes that are there this happens all the time even at, at a job or you know any project that you're working on you're always gonna refactor your code just because you code it a certain way in the beginning doesn't mean that's how you're gonna hand it in at the end all right guys i'll see you guys in a little bit Bow.
GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret, it's nothing crazy, it's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses, they're pretty cheap, they're like $15 each on specials, and just listen, man, change your life, change your lifestyle, do something fun and something cool that you could. Call a career. Bow.